<laughs> just so, to make sure we're, I'm getting it. Just to make sure I'm hearing it. So, God being perfect love can only create imperfect love. <clears throat> you and I are creations of God. We are no more separate from God than a sunbeam could be separate from the sun, than a wave can be separate from the ocean. You are a divine spark of God. This is a little different from traditional Christianity. And I just want to, I'm starting with these differences because it's, I think it's important. Um, Jesus said you were God. Exactly. I know. There's so much that's similar, but there are a few like fundamental differences. In, in the traditional Christian Bible, which I still follow and love, it says God had one son and Jesus is it. In A Course in Miracles, it says God has one son. We are all it because we are all the divine sparks of God. We are all, um, we all share God's DNA, if you will. So, um, where God creating, uh, God being perfect love, God creating us in perfect love, at one point, millions and millions and millions of years ago, we had the thought that we could do our own thing. This echoes a little bit the Adam and Eve story, right? Like yeah. tasting the apple of knowledge. That's the division you spoke about. That's the division, yeah. So we had the thought that we could do our own thing. So love, we were created in love, we were experiencing pure love of God, we being divine of God, create like God does in love. Mm -hmm. We had the thought that we could do, at some point, this is called in the Course, the detour into fear. We had the thought that we wanted to do our own thing, that we wanted to be special, that we wanted to be different, that we wanted to be independent of God. Now, according to A Course in Miracles, there's no way we can be independent of God. That just it, it cannot happen. So we are still one with God, but we don't know it because the mind divided in that time. There is then, and the ego was introduced. And the ego is the specialness, when we make ourselves special, when we make other people special. The anxiety, the, um, the feeling that we are different, that we are separate, that I'm separate from Karen and she's separate from me, therefore we start to compare and rank ourselves against each other. So the oneness was lost. And God, being perfect, created a way out of that. And the way... So if you're in love, you create with love, that was all good, and now we've introduced fear. we detoured into fear, the mind is split. And so we're in anxiety, we're in specialness, we're in comparison. But God, recognizing that love creates love and fear creates fear, saw that we would have anxiety that would only recreate anxiety that would recreate anxiety. This is what's going on in the world today, right? Generationally speaking. Exactly. Exactly. So what God did in response to that is he put in our minds, in all of our minds, as perfect as we are of God's DNA, a call home. The Holy Spirit, the Christ mind, the whatever the Buddha, whatever you want to call it. There's there's all whatever name you want to call it, it all leads to the same place. And that, getting in touch with that, A Course in Miracles is a guide to getting in touch with that, your internal teacher, and when you're in touch with your internal teacher, you return to love. Yeah, and that's one of the, that's one of the Course teachings that when you get it, you're like, oh my God, this has blown my mind and my whole life has changed. That we think that we have, it's one of the lines in the Course is you think you have a lot of problems, but you only have one, and it's your separation from God. You think you have a lot of emotions, you think you have a lot of issues, you think you have a lot of feelings, but you only have two. You have love and you have fear, and you're either acting in love or you're acting in fear. Love generates love. Love manifests love. When you are acting in love, you are creating love in the world. Love is coming back to you as a result of that. This is law of attraction stuff. Or you're creating fear. You're acting in fear. You're acting in anxiety. You're acting in comparisons. You're acting in anger. You're acting in frustration. You're acting in all of these ego-based ways. And what are you doing when you're acting in that way? You are calling in those things. 
So at any given point in your life, you're either creating, you're either acting in love, calling in love, or you're acting in fear and calling in fear in your own life. If you follow the course, Jesus is your guide. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because Jesus is the author. Right. But what the course will say is that if you follow Buddha, Muhammad, whatever, that we are all on the same path. The path leads to the same place in the end. One of the things that I really love about the course is that it's not so much trying to get you to follow Jesus as it is trying to get you to believe in one another because when I believe in you, when I'm acting out of love and when I see you as one with me, then I am experiencing Christ. I am experiencing God. And so it's not so much that God is this image that I put on my wall. This is the difference. God is not this image that I put on my wall. God is in my head, in my heart, how I act, how I live, and the way I treat you is how I get in touch with that. That's it. That's it. Then that's the course. Only love is real. My love for you is real. Your love, when I act on that, it's real. Nothing else exists. Simple and tough. Yeah. <laughs>